it's not too late to step into the story of this week that is already underway. There is so much more to come. This story that uh, traces the days of Jesus' life, this side of the grave and, and beyond. I can't make any promises about what this might mean for you if you were to be part of the gatherings in which uh, the story plays out among us. But I can tell you what it means to me. How on Thursday night when we come together around a table sharing food, feeling somewhat awkward because of the sense of the gravity of where this whole thing is heading. And then how the depth and authenticity of Jesus' love breaks out among us uh, our own motley crew as we find ourselves being washed and washing one another's hands or feet. What it is to experience the reality of tenderness land in uh, when danger and loss loom so large. Then what happens showing up on Friday uh, when I give my fullest attention to the whole sequence of the miscarriage of justice as the story unfolds. Where we witness the worst of what as human beings we are capable of doing to each other, to ourselves. In being as present as possible to the story, I realize I'm somehow being prepared or stretched in a way that enables me to recognize my own weakness and failure and to face into at least some of the horror that haunts our world these days and allow my heart to be broken open that I might care or respond in some way. There's no plan for us to come together on Saturday, that day after the worst has happened, the day of being so emptied out. It is its own day, a day to be quiet, to breathe, a day that invites us to learn something of the art of enduring loss and grief and uncertainty. Who do we turn to? What do we do? Well, then Easter begins uh, the next morning while it is still dark with the bewildering news of life where death has had its way. In our case, as a community, we'll pick up the story after the sun has risen round about 7.30 when we uh, take a walk into Megan, uh, Beacon Hill Park, uh, a walking meditation that invites us to wonder what it means to be in this world that is actually susceptible to the possibilities for life where we can't begin to foresee it. For those who wish, there'll be a light breakfast to follow that walk back at the church. And then following that at 10.15, uh, a further opening up of this bewildering news of the inexhaustible flow of love's power for life. I hope you'll consider stepping into the story whether online or in person. All the details of these events are there on the front page of our website.